Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 23486, which is released to the dev channel, starting with this build, and talking about what's new in build. Firstly we have passwordless improvements, Microsoft believes that the future is passwordless. Passkeys will allow you to replace passwords when you sign into a website or application that supports them. Passkeys represent a future where bad actors will have a much harder time stealing and using your credentials when signing into a website or application. Passkeys are fish-resistant, recoverable, and faster for users. To manage passkeys saved to your Windows device, Microsoft is giving users a fundamental control over how they can manage the passkeys saved to their Windows device. They can now view and delete passkeys saved for their favorite apps or websites from Windows settings on Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. If you see the browser's passkey UI, choose Windows Hello or External Security Key to get the Windows native experience. Try Google Chrome Canary for the latest experience there. As Microsoft Edge is Chromium-based, experiences in Chrome Canary will roll up into Microsoft Edge as well over time. So, this was the only new thing introduced in this build. Moving forward, and talking about the changes and improvements in this build, for File Explorer, the folder options changes in File Explorer that removed a handful of old settings in build, 23481. Microsoft rolled back this change, for Dev Home, Dev Home is now an inbox app. In a future flight, Dev Home will be found via Start, All Apps, Windows Tools. For Dynamic Lighting, new effects are now available for Dynamic Lighting via Settings, Personalization, Dynamic Lighting. Check out Wave wheel, and gradient. For emoji, Unicode Emoji 15, which began rolling out with build 23475, is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. For settings, Microsoft is improving the user experience when changing time zones, including cases of low confidence in location data. It displays a non-dismissible notification for accepting or rejecting the change and prompts the user for confirmation before adjusting the time zone. Also improving the user experience while changing the time zone via settings, time and language, date and time. If location settings are disabled, a warning is now shown to the user, urging them to enable location settings to ensure accurate time zone adjustments. This warning provides helpful information to the user, helping them understand why their time zone may not be correct and guiding them towards resolving the issue. So, these were the changes and improvements made in this build, moving forward, and talking about the fixes. For dynamic lighting, fix the issue where on first boot after installing recent builds and connecting a device, the use dynamic lighting on my device's toggle is off in settings and device LEDs may not turn on automatically. For input, rolling a fix for an issue where a blank window whose title is Windows Input Experience appears after resuming the device from the sleep. For network, fixed an issue where the login screen was crashing in the last couple flights when trying to connect to certain types of networks. For Task Manager, fixed an issue causing Task Manager crashes for some people. Fixed an issue where focus wasn't getting set correctly to search if the Task Manager window was small enough that search was collapsed to an icon. Fixed alignment of Task Manager icon and name in the title bar. Right-clicking the empty space in the details page, a case so no process is actually selected, will no longer show the option to create live kernel memory dumps. Also fixed an issue where the live kernel memory dumps weren't being cleaned up by storage sense. So that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.